All right, thank you for joining me back out in the shop. And today we're gonna to be messing around with the welding helmet. Now, if you have this style of helmet, say, Metal Man, auto darkening, looks solar paneled, but you can have it where the screen inside doesn't actually get darker when you uh, start welding. And that's actually due to some internal batteries going out. So, there's a couple of videos on YouTube that uh, show how to fix this, but I've got an even quicker and cheaper way to fix this. So essentially, you're going to want to pull out the panel. And to do that, you just pull out the knob. There's a little nut here. plastic nut so it uh, should be only hand tight and then that lets you pull this guy up flip up the metal piece and the screen should just come out if it doesn't, you can give it a little help from the other side. Alright, once you have the panel free, you're going to want to come to the back side here and with a screwdriver or another thin item and start prying this edge up. There'll be a little bit of glue, so it'll give you some resistance. But, kind of don't be afraid if it cracks and makes weird noises. Then that'll allow you to open it up. And inside you'll have two batteries. There'll be one on this side, and then one on this side. Now here's where we get creative. Other uh, places tell you that you need to clip these little contacts and solder in a new wire and you have this external little battery holder hanging out over here. But this is a free option. These little batteries if you can see, there's only two little tiny places where they were resistant welded. If you get a screwdriver up underneath this tab and work that little weld, it'll eventually just pop clean off. Do that to both sides and now you have these two contacts. Now, Here's where you get to have one cheap. Right here, we have a CR2032. Now these are pretty cheap little batteries to buy, but if you have an old computer laying around, this is the same battery that they use for the uh, BIOS memory on your motherboard. So. Since I actually work in the IT industry, I had a crap ton of old motherboards laying around. So I pulled out a few and they're three volts just like this other one. You can slightly tell that there's a small size difference. Let's see if we can lay this one over top. Slight small size difference, but voltage is all that matters and this is a three volt lithium just like that one over there. And 
if you successfully pulled if you successfully pulled these tabs off you can now just take this and slide it under that tab and plug it in. And you can tell when you kick power to it. So you basically precariously perch this up on there. The tab underneath shouldn't be uh, far enough along that it can ground out, so just lay that guy there. Make sure this is slightly bent here, so when you push the back on, it creates a little bit of pressure. Let's get this guy tucked back in. So then you just slap that guy back together. You can go through and re-glue it or tape it. I just left it pressure fit because when you slide it back in here your little uh, retaining clip is going to apply pressure on it for you. So you stick it all back in. Clip it back up. And there you pretty much have it. And there you have it. It's all fixed. Ready to be beat on for another many years.